Good morning, friends. This uh, week's blog is going to be slightly different. I know we've been on a Lenten and an, uh, or an Easter tide theme for the last several weeks, and I might return to that. I might do the um, fish story um, in the Gospel of Luke, where Jesus um, appears post resurrection and, um, you know, ask for food to prove that he is corporeal, I suppose. But, uh, what I want to do today, um, is a little bit more personal. And I really want to tell y'all, uh, where Lisa and I are right now and ask for prayer and, uh, just sort of give you a little bit of reflections on what is our process at the moment. Um, uh, we are in a season of waiting and a season of uh, transition as Lisa has completed her PhD and is now uh, Dr. Lisa Hancock, she'll graduate in a couple of weeks from SMU officially with her PhD, but she has uh, defended her dissertation now. So we are waiting and watching and praying about what God has to uh, for us next. And Lisa is actively applying for jobs and actively waiting on both the academic and nonprofit uh, job market, as well as a few other things to produce fruit. Um, and we keep getting a sense from the Lord that we are to wait and watch and be patient because what is next will emerge. And guys, that is so clearly what has happened throughout my life and throughout our life in these big sort of moments. I tell this story all the time to friends and colleagues and spiritual direction clients that a few years ago, three to, three to four years ago, I was sitting in, a, sitting in a coffee shop one day, taking a Sunday off and reading the paper and praying. And God said, and I said to God, I really want children. And God said, uh, it's coming. Wait a moment. Because I had in that prayer request, so we're in that conversation with God said, I don't think it's ever going to happen. And then God said, it is coming, be patient, wait on me. And we're getting a very similar sense of timing, that when it comes, we will know it when we see it. So, excuse me, how do we do that? What is it like to open oneself to the Holy Spirit and say, take control and to move in patience and to move in knowing that God's grace will stand in the gap for you? I think for Lisa and I, it's having conversations about still being conscious about what is out there and applying for jobs when they arise and when it sounds good and when it looks good, but also asking God for the patience to be still. And that's very challenging to do when the world is clamoring at you and saying, well, 
you're at this stage of your life. You should be doing this. You're at this stage of your life. You should be here and you should apply for this job and this job and this job and this job. The world is always seeking to give us noise to fill our ears with buzzing so that we don't feel the gentle nudges and tugs of the Holy Spirit. So I think that's one thing that I would ask my friends and blog watchers to help us with, is be in prayer for us that we would feel the gentle nudging and hear the gentle melody of the Holy Spirit and of the Trinity calling us to what's next. And be praying for us that we might notice what is emerging. I am graciously grateful. I, if I can use that odd combination of words back to back. That my, my ministry, the Julian Way, has proved very adaptable to Zoom. So it really... I can really do the work of the Julian way wherever we're called to go. I would ask for prayers and for consideration that if you feel called through what I provided through blogs and through journeying with me to give to the work of the Julian way, I'll put a donate button at the end of this blog or in the notes of this blog so that that can be an option for you. But really... Just help us watch and help us journey into patience and hold tightly to the promises of the Lord. Thank you, friends. Thank you for allowing me to be with you for these blogs and um, being a part of our world and our ministry. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.